Harry in a hurry. Harry was always in a hurry. He ate fast. He talked fast, and he rode around and around on his scooter so fast that everything he passed looked like this. But Harry didn't care. Yippee! He cried as he zoomed around faster and faster, tripping up the lollipop lady, knocking over the pizza delivery boy, and sending the postman and his all his letters and parcels flying. He didn't notice the great big hole. That he nearly fell down, or the prickly hatch that he nearly ran into, or the teeny tiny rock on the road that snagged his front wheel and sent him and his scooter flying right into the pond. When Tom fished him out, Harry hurt all over, and his scooter was bent and wobbly. It's broken," said Harry. "But I'm in a hurry. Where are you going?" asked Tom. "I don't know," said Harry. "I won't know until I get there." And now I'm going to be late. Tom didn't understand, but Harry looked very upset. I'll fix your scooter, he said, but it will take time. Tom was never in a hurry. He ate so slowly that it was lunch time before he'd finished his breakfast. He talked so slowly that people fell far asleep listening to him, and he sneezed so slowly it took him half an afternoon to blow his nose. I'm sorry, your scooter is taking so long to fix," said Tom. "Let's have some lunch. That will cheer you up." Harry hated waiting more than anything, but he hurt all over, so he couldn't really go anywhere. Harry was grumpy, but it was strange. Waiting for Tom, he noticed how cozy his house was, how comfy his chair felt, and how nice that soup smelled. Food is ready," said Tom at long, long last. By then, Harry was very hungry. Usually, Harry ate as fast as he could, but he'd hurt his arm, so that for once he had to eat slowly. He was still quite grumpy, but it was strange. Eating slowly, his food tasted delicious, and for the very first time, it didn't give him hiccups afterwards. Tom spent the afternoon working on the scooter. I'm sorry, it's taking so long to fix," he said. "Let's go for a walk. That will cheer you up." Usually, Harry went everywhere as far as as he could, but he did hurt his legs so that for once he had to walk slowly. He was still a little grumpy, but it was strange. Walking slowly, the world around him wasn't wasn't a big messy blur. It was beautiful.
Tom had work to do, so he slipped away. Harry didn't notice. He took a deep breath, and got a really good look at it all. Harry was still there hours later, when Tom came back with his scooter. It was as good as new. Thank you," said Harry. "I'm sorry it took so long," said Tom. "No, I'm sorry," said Harry. "I was so grumpy, but because of you, I know that a house can be cozy, and food can be delicious, and the world around me is beautiful." How can I ever thank you? For once, Tom didn't have to think for very long. Yippee! This is the end of the story.